Would you rather row across the Pacific Ocean or climb Mount Everest? No, this is not a joke. Adventurer Erden, Erden Arouche plans to do both. And he shares his amazing story with Bryce Moore. Erdan Eruch left California in June and rode all the way to Honolulu, arriving in Waikiki last month. He's halfway through his ocean voyage to Asia and is teaching Keiki about the importance of keeping plastic out of the ocean along the way. Fourth or eighth grade, they are engaged. They, they are just eating this up. If it's their teachers, they see them every day. If their parents, oh, they deal with every day. So in one ear, out the other. But if I talk to them, they pay attention. Eruch holds over a dozen world records for ocean rowing. His modified rowboat has enough space for freeze-dried food, a desalination unit for water, and a high-frequency hydrophone to help Noah study the range of beaked whales. When the waves get rough, he ties himself down to prevent getting tossed around. He hopes his current voyage will inspire others to overcome their own battles. Wanting me, telling me to stop what I'm doing and go home, but I need to listen to that internal voice and say, this is the fear talking. I need to get to stay focused on my goal. And my message to them has been to set their dreams so big that they have to set records along the way. His journey won't end after he reaches Asia in March 2022. The 60 year old plans to make his way to the foothills and eventually to the summit of Mount Everest next fall. He has a message for Kapuna as well. If we remain active throughout our lives, breathe and move and stay active there is just so much that we can still accomplish fatigue is a feeling i can manage it's a temporary thing quitting is forever it'll scar me aruch plans on rowing out of waikiki yacht club tomorrow morning to track his progress we'll put a link on our website khon2.com bryce moore khon2 news working for hawaii